Chris, what's the mood like in the camp after a, a week off? Uh, pretty jovial. I mean, a week off, a week's break is always uh, a massive thing for any squad. And um, yeah, the boys are feeling pretty sort of rejuvenated and energetic going into this week. Did it come out as a good time with this big block of championship games coming up? Yeah, massively. I think there are a few sort of back end of the, the weeks leading up to it with definitely a few broken bodies, some guys wanting to kind of have a bit of a rest and uh, take a little bit of time just to sort their bodies out and, and even their minds a little bit. You get into this sort of the, this system where week in, week out the same and it's really nice to have a little break of it and you come back in feeling like a new person. <laughs> We had some great tussles with Ealing last season. What is it that makes them such a, a dangerous side? I think they're a similar side to us often. They, they play in a similar way. They want to play a running game. They want to pass the ball. And um, they like being quick and, uh, and aggressive with, with their attacking. And uh, that gives, gives way to some incredible games and often some high-scoring games. Things have been disrupted recently, with the, particularly in the half-backs, the, the injuries we suffered there. Do you feel that we're setting into a bit of a, a pattern of the season now? Yeah, I mean, for nine, we've got enough people to cover it. And, and actually, we've got some excellent players playing at a scrum half at the moment. So the sort of issue we have with that for one week was, was is not too bad. Um, for our 10 position, I mean, Pete stepped up and been amazing for the, the game so far. And, he, and I'm sure he will be going into the weekend. And... Uh, He's really sort of shown that actually we've not got a weakness there and obviously brings some different stuff to a number 10 that you don't normally get, which is great. Um, and yeah, we've, we've been able to sort of rally around him and, and being such a vital player to us anyway, we, we all know how he plays and we all know the systems anyway. So it's trying to help him through the sort of little bits that he might struggle with and um, yeah, enjoy the game anyway. We've seen since the last game, Mike Mayhew's joined Queens on loan and uh, the two Maxes have gone on, gone down to Bath. As someone who's been at the sharp end of professional rugby union, with when you saw things go wrong at London Welsh, how important is it to the players to look at opportunities like this? Oh, massive. I mean, it's. I think it says a lot about the club in, in one way, anyway, because the Premiership teams are looking at, at, at Yorkshire and seeing that some of the uh, the amazing quality we've got here and wanting to try try it out for their own their own squads. Um, but yeah, it's definitely when you get given the opportunity in professional rugby, it's obvious that you want to try and take it and get to the highest level you possibly can.